You've been getting on fine without one. What's that, madam? A soul. Greatest sequel of all time, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking really? Fuck on the nose. This dialogue is up it. We break company with the plot no less than four times over the course of this film, so Sped Flanders can chat up an often ancillary character and explain the story to that fucking point, which wouldn't be merely annoying in any other film, but in a sequel to Blade Runner, perhaps the most pronounced example in contemporary cinema of show-don't-tell storytelling. They don't advertise for killers in a newspaper. That was my profession. Ex-cop, ex-blade runner, ex-killer. The charmer's name was Gat. I'd seen him around. Brian must have upped him to the blade runner unit. That gibberish he talked was city speak, gutter talk, a mishmash of Japanese, Spanish, German, what have you. I didn't really need a translator. I knew the lingo every good cop did, but I wasn't gonna make it easier for him. Dialogue is a fucking affront to the blade runner legacy. Skin jobs, that's what Bryant called replicants. In history books, he's the kind of cop used to call black men niggers. Niggas know you got the show, don't tell storytelling wrong. There's one area where I thought the voiceover was so clunky, it landed with such a hollow thud. It's the tears and rain. I'm in the theater and I am so drawn in by what Rutger Hauer is doing and I'm so drawn in by what the theme of the movie has brought us to, this magnificent moment. All these moments will be lost in time like tears and rain. Oh my, oh. And right as I'm just, it's like having sex and somebody dumps cold water on you. Right at that moment, where I'm like at my emotional crescendo as a, as a viewer, here comes this thudding, dunderheaded voiceover. I don't know why he saved my life. Maybe in those last moments he loved life more than he ever had before. Maybe I guess in those last moments he appreciated life more than ever before. I, like, yes, I know that. Thank you. Thank you for kicking this, this, this beautiful, delicate, emotional note that we were achieving right in the nut. Blow me! Till your mind is 